All right, so the question, this uh, dosage calculation pediatric question says furosemide 12.5 milligrams, BID for a four-year-old weighing 40 pounds. Furosemide comes in 40 milligrams for 5 ml. The dose range is 0.5 to 6 milligrams per kilogram per day. Uh, so that's important to note. Um, and so since we're going to do it in divide doses, so my order is the 12.5 milligrams for my 40 pounder. And I need to divide by 2.2 to get the kg. 40 divided by 2.2 is 18.181818, repeating. So I'm going to round that to 18.2. And um, it says, so I have the label. Uh, we'll get to that in a second. So the dose range, again, is 0.5 to 6. But that's per day. So what you can do is if you divide these by two, since it says BID, divided every six to 12 hours, and since my reference range is the BID, we can divide by two for most of these. So 0.5 divided by two um, is 0.25. That's per dose, and this is three um, milligrams per kilogram per dose, okay? Then we can multiply by the 18.2, 18.2, and we get 4.55 milligrams, and 3 times 18.2, and 54.6. And then the question is, is it within that range? 12 fits within that range, so or 12.5, sorry. So now we just uh, calculate how many milliliters. So you would administer the dose, 12.5 um, milligrams times the 5 ml per 40 milligrams. So 12.5 times 5 divided by 40, and you'll get, that 1.5625, which I, we can assume is about 1.6. Sorry, that was an extra. Yeah, no, I did that right. Uh, 1.6 mil. Um, so the rounding here is going to be dependent on what um, what you're supposed to do in a particular situation. Because this is pediatric dosages, you may want to bring that down into the hundredth range. Confirm that with your instructor, so that way you know. Um, to what point they want you to round. I know that when we're dealing with pediatrics, we really don't want to round it um, and get it too close and be, um, you know, be wrong because we're rounding. You can accidentally give them too much or maybe not enough of the medication. But even if you're off a little bit here, you'd still be within the safe range. Um, but again, confirm that with your instructor. I hope you found that helpful.